Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, yes, here we are again talking about Monster Hunter Wilds, and the real reason is, one, pure excitement. I can't stop thinking about this game, so of course I have quite a lot to say about it, and the second is that there is a surprising amount of very interesting topics brought up in such a very short announcement trailer that we were given. One of the most interesting ones to me personally, at least, is the apparent bow gun stored on the bird mount's right side. This itself, for such a potentially small detail, has led to so many questions, so many theories, some of which seem incredibly possible, while others are more than a little bit out there. Today we're essentially just going to talk about this gun pouch, what it could imply, and why this specific detail has grabbed the community's attention. From what we can see, and what we can assume from previous entries, the bird mount will be with us on a hunt. Some of the trailer does seem like in-hunt footage as well, which lends credence to that too. In the trailer we see the hunter with a greatsword on their back, but there is also what appears to be a bow gun sidled on the mount's hip. There is of course a world in which this is just a purely cosmetic thing that is just on the bird, or it could be indicative of an actual gameplay mechanic, which is what everyone is so enamored with the possibility of. The prevalent theory that people seem to agree with the most is the idea of just a straight up second weapon available to us. If this game is in theory much more open than any other Monster Hunter game to date, it is entirely likely that you'll be expected to regularly hunt multiple monsters before returning to any sort of hub type area. And so maybe your bird stores a second weapon option so you have the choice to adapt between the two of them on the go, even while just walking around these zones themselves actively hunting monsters. This could create a lot of interesting gameplay combos and be much more interesting than just something like changing it a tent even, something like bringing a hunting horn with you just to actually activate the buffs, play all the songs, then switching to another weapon on the fly while the buffs are active, or even just something simple like having one melee weapon and one ranged weapon for different scenarios, and honestly this sounds quite cool if they were to take it in this direction. My personal take on this is if this is how it works, I really hope it specifically is actually a second equipment set, rather than literally just swap to a different weapon, I think that would be nice and be a lot more interesting. You could build a lot more coherent actual double builds for this. And the second theory here is more of one that I have personally, and that is that it is both just a cosmetic thing and is indicative of a other mechanical feature, which is my belief that the bird mount itself will act as a sort of mobile tent within this game, where when not in danger, you can use it to access a sort of item box on the left side of the mount or an equipment box represented by the weapon in the pouch on the right side. So rather than just a literal swap weapon in and out, more just a visual note to imply the existence of equipment swapping in general being tied to this bird as a whole within the game. Then the third theory that I've heard come up a lot, which is, what is specifically the gun that is here? Well, I mean, there are people that don't even think that the gun in the pouch looks like either light or heavy bow gun, and thus think it might actually be a bird-specific gun. By which I mean, rather than a weapon swap for while well, hunting, you have the option to use this only while riding the bird, to be ability to use the gun while mounted for ranged combat, no matter what weapon you would actually normally be wielding in regular melee combat. There would be full mounted combat in the game, but based around this one specific bird gun moveset that every hunter would have access to, and you could make it almost function as like the 15th weapon of the game, being different in execution from either existing bow gun and having it rooted just in the movement of being permanently on the mount while using it. That could be quite fun. Then of course I have to mention the related theory to that, which is that the gun belongs to the bird. When you dismount from the bird, it equips the gun and provides suppressing fire while you run in with your big stabby stick. Of course, it's hilarious, but but also, I mean, the bird does have opposable thumbs for some reason. It can run on just its hind legs, we see that in the trailer, and it does have both a weapon and supply pouch of its own. So what if this is just some sort of like mimic bird, like how parrots mimic the sounds, but in this region they are birds that mimic the actions of the hunter, or at least this specific one of the bird species mimics us as our hunter, and part of the story could be our relationship with it, and it becoming a proper genuine hunting partner or the likes of which the Palico and Palamut wish that they could have been. That is obviously one that goes a little bit farther than what I would consider the realm of possibility, as that is much closer to like a Monster Hunter Stories game almost, but also a cool thing to ponder at the very least is that's the stage that we're in. As far as things go with it then, I think the most likely outcome is definitely the two weapon theory, whether it be simply a second weapon itself that you can swap between while out on the hunt, or if it is a full equipment loadout swap. Either way, this really does make sense both with what we see in the trailer itself and with the concepts that we can sort of guess at for Wilds as a whole, being specifically a much larger and more open interpretation of Monster Hunter as a series. Hell, there has even been a lot of talk among some people about just hot swapping between two of the exact same weapon type just to refresh your sharpness quickly, which is a pretty funny concept of how you could use this mechanic, but also an arguably a situationally very defective possibility. One thing I think could also be cool is the idea of switch skills returning from Rise and Sunbreak, the idea of being able to have different moves 
set within the same weapon type from a defined set of choices. Imagine if we had that, but tied to individual weapon trees. Like, let's say Rathalos Greatsword is Rage Slash, Great Jagras Greatsword is True Charge Slash, and you can swap between these two greatswords from the mount at will because of the actual two weapon concept. I think that could be a really interesting way to actually use switch skills and balance it against the possibility of carrying around two whole weapons. That way we could have switch skills return, but with a bit more commitment to them if you really want to actually work the most out of them. That said, I still am quite big on the whole bird mount is in your tent idea. I mean, with the sheer size of the land, the fact that we seem to be extremely attached to this bird, given that we literally don't stop mounting it for the entirety of the announcement trailer, I think it is quite clear to most people that this is going to be an extremely open game compared to the monster hunter that we are used to up until this point. And from everything that we can assume from what we are given, tents and proper camps as we have them in the fifth generation probably won't be a thing in wilds. And that instead we'll have to rely on our bird who has his own item pouch that could function like an item box and perhaps the gun in the pouch functioning as the equipment box in the same vein. In that version of events, if that were to be the case, the idea is that wilds isn't just an open world type game as a general concept. It is full on breath of the wild tears of the kingdom level of open world. And so it would just make sense to have your actual hub be something that you can carry around with you aside from more major things like weapon and armor crafting or things like that. And I really like how this would thematically line up with the idea of being someone that is just one of the first hunters to a whole new land, a whole new region, unexplored. So as these scouts, we would just have limited resources that result in us having to live off of our mount, essentially not having actual camping supplies. Going full on van life, Monster Hunter Edition. Hell, honestly, we got so little information from that NASA trailer, it's entirely possible this is a full single player Mario Kart-like experience, maybe even, where all the monsters are hazards on the racetrack and you just ride along in your mount from point A to point B to finish each level. And the item pouch and the weapon on the satchel represent items that you can pick up on the track and you can get melee weapon items to swing the greatsword and take out a monster, bowgun ammo to clear out more typical hazards on the track. You know, the whole nine yards. It could be a racing game. I'm just saying, we know so genuinely little about Monster Hunter Wild at this point that speculating about it is all just so free and so open, knowing that realistically you can say some absolutely wacky stuff and technically speaking, it isn't necessarily wrong yet. It just opens the floodgates for people to say some really silly stuff. All in all, I think it says a lot that even the concept of just seeing a weapon on the hips of a bird in a Monster Hunter trailer can drum up this much excitement and discussion in the community. I mean, it's just such a small detail, so easily missed if you just watch the trailer a bit more casually, yet it's simultaneously something that could have a lot of meaning and tell us a surprising amount about this game considering how little else we actually know about it at this point right now. What do you all think about it then? Are your beliefs aligned with one of the more popular theories that we talked about today, or do you have some even more juicy thoughts on the possible meanings of the second weapon hanging off of our feathered friend? Let me know down in the comments below, as if you didn't guess, I love discussion on this level of speculative stuff. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye